start that channel, y'all. channel if this is your first time here thank you for stopping by my name is Siobhan and if this is not your first time here thank you for coming by again to see your girl and if you are not already subscribed what you waiting for do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave up out of here especially if you like the video so we just gonna get straight into it because I know why y'all here y'all read by the title about this YouTube thing and I'm pretty sure if you already here that you have had some kind of thoughts about starting a YouTube channel just like everybody else that have started or thinking about starting you stalling because of whatever reason like me I stalled for I don't know how long I've been having my channel for a little bit over a year and I'm gonna tell y'all how YouTube changed my life just within that little bit of time actually not even within a little bit of time within a few months because I just recently had 200 subscribers on I don't remember the exact date I know it's maybe December and it says the beginning of February and I'm already at 5,000 and I will tell y'all how YouTube has changed my life and to help me get that 5,000 subscribers y'all YouTube have helped me in so many ways in so many ways like I probably won't even be able to think of everything to put in this video because this video is not scripted I wanted this just to be like straightforward no writing down anything or no you know script it's just me straight up honest real raw and uncut so yeah I want to tell y'all that YouTube has helped me so much like I'm a person that I'm not a nine to five type of person I'm not a nine to five type of person but recently I like I was really confused like before I started this YouTube channel I know I wanted to start a YouTube and I wish I had started it way back when I had those thoughts had I known what I know now I would have been started but I'm glad I did nevertheless um, like I said, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I was in a space to where I was like really kind of lost and confused. And I just know one thing I did know was that I didn't want, I don't want to do a regular nine to five. I'm not a nine to five type person. I don't knock people that is more like on a nine to five side. So I don't have anything in any specific order because like I said, I didn't script anything. This is just straight off the top of my head, raw, real, and uncut. One of the biggest ways that YouTube have helped me was to kind of like actually find myself and really figure out what it is that I really love to do, what it really is that I want to do. At one point in my life, like prior to YouTube, I was really confused. And I think this is one of the things that really, really led me to just say F it and just like, pick up the camera and start recording actually pick up my phone because my first few videos was recorded off of my iPhone um at that time like I was really confused I didn't know what I wanted to do I just know that some of the things that I was doing um wasn't really filling my cup I wasn't really enjoying them and one of the things I also knew was that I'm not a nine to five girl like I'm, I don't do well with nine to fives and I'm, I don't knock the people that you know are more nine to five ish and not like you know kind of against being an entrepreneur or just kind of like working for yourself i don't knock that because there is some good and nine to fives like it's guaranteed money you guarantee to get paid a certain amount on a certain day um if you go to work you will get paid versus youtube or anything else you know that you may be doing you can work 10 hours and you might not get paid for those 10 hours you can work a whole 48 hours and you may not get paid so it's just kind of iffy you don't have that certainty with being an entrepreneur working for yourself doing youtube or whatever it is it may be even if you have a business it's not guaranteed so it's it's more it's a lot more risky but i just knew that nine to five me and nine to five is just not where i really want to be now granted i do still have a nine to five that i work but I know that that's not where I want to be. So like I said, YouTube has led me to see exactly what it is I want to do, what it is I like, what it is I don't like. And it has also given me a space to just, just be me and do the things that I like to do. And I say I'm not a 9 to 5 girl because I feel like when I work a 9 to 5, I feel trapped. I feel like I can't. I can do so many things and I don't know if y'all have watched I, I post them on I post things on my shorts that I do YouTube shorts I post them in my blog sometimes I can do a lot and I feel like we're working at nine to five I feel like I'm in a box and I can't do these other things I can't show these other things so it's kind of like I do this job I get paid this exact amount of money and that's it but I feel like this is 
a space where I can be creative. This is a space where I can be me. I can show up anything that I can do. Anything that I can do, anything that I do on an everyday basis or whenever I can showcase it on YouTube. And somebody can learn from that. Maybe somebody is typing in how to do a DIY throw pillow or whatever it may be. Somebody typing that and they can see your video. So it's kind of like you're showcasing your talents. You're opening up. You're kind of putting yourself on display and also you never know so many people are watching that you can be teaching somebody else something and even in my vlogs like another thing I learned on YouTube is how to be a better communicator so this has even helped me in my relationship like I am so much better with communicating with opening up and also knowing how to explain what I'm saying and it has made my relationship that much sweeter um, so it helps in so many ways, ways that you don't even imagine. And also with just speaking to the camera, um, being able to articulate things and that, that has led me to create more videos and create more videos. You get more subscribers and you know, more people get to see your personality and see the things that you do. So it's like, I'm no longer camera shy. If you look at my, one of my first videos, I was so camera shy. It showed through the camera. I didn't like, which I still don't like the way I sound on video, which I know a lot of people have that same feeling. I was like really, really shy to talk. Um, I didn't really know exactly what to say. I was like watching. Now I'm just like, I just talk even in my vlogs. Like sometimes I put some of the issues that I face just every day in my everyday life in there so that people will know that these things actually happen and you are not alone. So it's kind of like I have somebody to talk to. I have somebody to talk to and also while I'm talking and venting and you know giving y'all my op opening up my life to y'all and showing y'all the things that I face the challenges that I face that can also help somebody else that may be facing the same challenge but maybe they're too embarrassed they're too ashamed to talk about it or you know maybe they feel like it's just them or they're behind whatever it may be so I also get to vent while also letting somebody else know girl you're not alone this is normal this happens in everyday life and it's perfectly fine so i feel like the the things that not the things that we are afraid to talk about it's almost like some things in everyday life i feel like i'm just not heard or i'm not explaining myself well enough i feel like i'm not being heard so when i get on youtube and talk i feel heard i feel seen i feel like somebody understands you know somebody can relate the content is relatable and in life sometimes i feel like i'm not getting through or either i just i'm just not being heard so that has also helped me a lot with that which has made my life a lot easier and it has just like really really helped me out um youtube have also helped me to this is a big one i know we all have this as an issue at some point to stop making excuses I was the type of person even with starting my YouTube channel I would make excuses of why I can't start why I shouldn't start why I'm not able to start I don't have this I don't have this this is not in order this is not right oh I'm gonna start after this. now something like even now I said I was gonna put off this video until a later time until I wrote down some things until guess what came in the room, turned the camera on, turned my light on, got to talking. As y'all can see, I'm in my bedroom. I don't have like no beautiful background. I don't have nothing set up. So that's like with a lot of my content. Sometimes I just turn the camera on and start recording. That will attract subscribers. That will also allow you to show your personality. People love to see personality. They love to know who they're watching. They love to know the things you do, the things you face. So that has helped me so much with YouTube, which has helped me grow on YouTube. I think I'm now at maybe like 5,000 subscribers and like I said like two months ago I was stuck at 200 but now that I'm a better communicator I'm better with talking on camera I feel free I feel open I feel like I can express myself I feel like somebody is listening I feel like I'm understood I'm, I'm under you know people understand me and I'm seen it has helped me to create more content and even also on my Instagram platform like I have grew so much like I do so much that I was just sitting on and it's like with that nine to five I couldn't I couldn't find a way to really showcase that because it's like you go to work you do a job and then that's that and then sometimes, you know, you might get home and it's like you're too tired to do these things that you want to do for yourself or to, you know, do the things that you enjoy doing. With YouTube, it's just kind of like, I'm already doing these things anyway. So let me just pick up the camera, record it, edit it, and post it. And then after that, I leave it out of my hands. I don't wait on likes and, and you know, see how many subscribers I got. I just post it. It's genuine. And hopefully somebody will understand. Hopefully somebody can take or learn something from it. 
and I'm I'm free. I'm just like releasing me. I'm being me. I'm putting my whole personality on these platforms, and this is what I'm getting in return. You know, people liking it, people asking questions, and I love it. I love to do this. So YouTube has helped me so much in many ways that I can't even. I'm sure after I turn this camera off, I'm gonna think of a whole bunch of other things and ways that YouTube has changed my life, but. I really, really enjoy doing this and I feel like this is what I'm meant to do when I'm doing this. I feel like, I feel fulfilled. When I'm at work, it's kind of like, I'm thinking the whole time, why am I here? Actually, I'm thinking every day, like, I, should I go here or not? Because I don't feel that it's something I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like I'm in the wrong place. Like somebody just dropped me off in this foreign country. I don't know nobody. I don't know how to speak the language. I just don't belong. When I'm here on YouTube, I feel welcome. I feel like I have found me. I have found what I like to do and I can showcase that. I can be me. I don't have to change nothing. I don't have to hide nothing. I don't have to act a different way, act like a different person. I can 100% be me, show y'all the things that I do, show y'all the things that I enjoy and hopefully somebody is learning from it and if not, you know, it's hopefully y'all just enjoy the content. Hopefully it's something funny or whatever it may be, but YouTube has really, really helped me and I hope to do this full time one day. I know YouTube is a really, really slow gr growing platform, so I'm not rushing it. And I know it's human nature to want things to happen right then or right when you want them to happen, but it will happen. And if I can tell you anything, anything, start that channel it's not too late sometimes you feel like oh i should have started five years ago i'm too old i'm seeing creators 17 14 13 no baby start the channel start the channel if you feel like this is for you obviously if you're watching this video you have at least thought about starting a youtube channel start the channel i promise you it will help you in so many ways and i'm not just speaking from a monetary perspective it will help you in so many ways it will help you if you're lost and confused Get on YouTube, be you, and figure out what it is you like to do. When you make the content, the content will feel, um, you'll feel like you're, you're fulfilled. Go off of that. And even when you're starting a new YouTube, the thing about starting a new YouTube is that a new YouTube channel, I'm sorry, I'm talking fast, I'm really passionate about what I'm talking about. Um, you can post whatever. When you start off, you can post whatever because you're doing like trial and error. You're trying to see what you like to do. You're trying to see what you know people like to watch. So you can post anything. You can start off. If you like cooking, you can start off cooking. If you like doing hair, you can start off doing hair. And you can just kind of play around with it. That's the beauty of starting a new channel. You can do anything you want to do with it. You can switch it. You can see what works, what doesn't work. You can see, you know, you can figure out the content that you like to record, what feels organic, you know, what your audience may like. And just go from there. And you never know where it'll take you. There's so many possibilities with YouTube. There's so many opportunities, girl boy whatever you are male female start that channel y'all that's the end of this video i didn't want to make it too long i hope y'all learned something from this video I hope y'all took something from it and i just want to share with y'all all of the ways that youtube has changed my life in just this short period of time thank y'all for watching if you enjoyed don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed subscribe to your girl and i will see y'all in the next video bye